in This Week in Military History, we explore the first Battle of the Marne in 1914, where French and British expeditionary forces fought to prevent the German advance on Paris in World War I. The first Battle of the Marne took place 30 miles from Paris between September 6th and September 12th. It was an opportunity for the BEF and the French to stop the German advance, an advance that had already marched through Belgium and parts of France in their advance towards Paris. Using French air reconnaissance and radio intercepts, the very first time these had been used in a major conflict, French Commander-in-Chief General Joseph Joffre ordered Michael Joseph Manary's French 6th Army to attack. Using requisition Paris taxis and buses, the first extensive use of motorized transport in wartime and forever celebrated as the taxis of the Marne, Manary and his reinforcements rushed to the front. Soon six French armies and the BEF met an overextended Imperial German army. Famously, the men of the BEF employed their bolt-action Lee Enfield rifles with such speed and accuracy that the advancing Germans believed they were being met with machine guns. By September 9th, they had seemingly encircled and destroyed the German first and second armies. General von Moltke faltered and a general retreat to the Aisne River was ordered. The Germans dug in, resulting in trench warfare and an eventual stalemate that would last for four years. The German retreat ended their hopes of a quick victory and foiled the German Schlieffen plan. The war now would certainly not be over by Christmas. Join us next time for another segment of This Week in Military History with the Pritzker Military Museum and Library.